Entitled mother tries to get me banned from swimming classes. Hello. I'm 15 years old and this happened a year ago during summer vacations. I'm a skilled swimmer due to me being in classes since I was 5 years old and I really enjoy swimming. This happened on Nuevo Len, Mexico, where I live. During the summer vacations my father tends to sign us, father, little sister and me, into swimming classes on the university he studied in. This is a service that the university has, and well, that wasn't our first time there, so the professors recognized us. One professor I really liked was named Lewis. He was the professor for the advanced class where I was in, and he always defended me from the 17 year olds that were in the class as well. But enough backstory. This happened almost at the end of the course and we were having a special class on the deep pool. This was 7 meters deep, 23 feet, and was my favorite, because I like diving. After the class had ended the professor let us do whatever we wanted for 30 minutes, time that the other classes, greens, and medium, were using to have normal classes. Only the advanced class had this special class, on that time I started diving, and having fun while swimming. But 10 minutes before the end a woman approached the professor with her son, he was like 13 over 14, so my age, and started asking why was I there. Lewis started explaining that I was part of that class. The woman getting angry said, K, Karen, L, Lewis, D, my dad, K, sorry, but why is he on this class? Pointing at me, L, O, he is one of my students. He studies on this class. K, then, if he is there can my son be as well? He also wants to have fun. L, I need to check that. This pool is somewhat dangerous. Do you have your receipt? K, yes, here it is. Handing a piece of paper. L, sorry, but he is supposed to be in the green class. I'm afraid he is not skilled enough to be here. K, but he is there. He can't be much better than my son. L, sorry, but he has been coming to classes here since he was 10. K, but he is not enough good to be there. How dare you say he is better than my son, he is so fat. I'm a little fat. I was 78 kilograms, 172 pounds, and my height was 1.70, 5.5. L, sorry, if you're here to insult my student I will be asking you to leave. K, oh, so now I'm insulting your student. I'm the customer here, and you will let my son have fun. L, sorry, that's not possible. I will ask you to return him to his class. The mother was really upset and started talking shit of the professor while leaving, but her son turned back and ran into the pool, not realizing how deep it was, and he was now 2 meters deep in the pool, having problems to get out, he had no ability on the kicking. Before we reacted we all started laughing at his inability to swim, but then we realized the kid was really drowning and was sinking. I was not the hero of this story though, another student, it'll call him Alex, dived in and rescued the kid that was now crying in the floor after being thrown out of the pool. K, how dare you touch my son. You are a ducking pedo. L, ma'am your son was drowning. K, he wasn't, he is completely capable of swimming. Alex, then what about letting him in again and seeing how much he can survive, laughing. They were 17 year olds that had fun with seeing how a kid was drowning, but it'd be lying if I told you I wasn't laughing inside as well. K, you, pointing at me, you are the reason why my son almost drowned. You make it seem so easy, and that's why my son jumped into the pool. L, sorry, but you and your son have to leave now. I will be calling security if you keep this up. K, no, I want him banned from this place. He is a bad influence for kids his age, making them think swimming is easy. All the classes had already ended by now, and the tantrum she was making could be heard by everyone. So, my dad, that always comes for me, approached her and asked. D, is everything okay here? K, who the duck are you? D, I'm here for my son. I climbed out of the pool and walked in direction of my dad. K, wait, is he your son? D, yes, he is. K, look at what he did with mine. He almost drowned him. D, is that true? Asking to the professor and me. L, no the kid jumped into the pool without permission. D, okay, then. It's not my kid's fault, so I will be leaving. THX for taking care of him. 
to my professor. L. Not a problem. K. Are you really going to let him go? His son almost killed mine. Me. You told us he was an experienced swimmer. So why was he drowning? I said to fuel the situation while leaving. C. That's all. As my knowledge goes she was banned from the place and her husband had to come and apologize for his son to be permitted again in the facilities. That was my only experience with the Karen because they are not so common here. This was written from my phone and well, English is not my first language, so sorry if there was any errors. TL slash DR. Karen's son almost drowned in a deep pool, she says it is my fault, and gets banned, after insulting the professor. Hey, that English was pretty good. If it's not your first language. English is such a complicated language to learn. Props on your skill. THX. I'm studying hard to get an interchange in the university. Well, you're on the right track. My French. Spanish teacher can't speak as good English as you, let alone write it. My Spanish is terrible. At least I'm learning. I hope it'll be useful. Same with my Indonesian and French. Studied both for 5 years and am hopeless. I would not have guessed that English was not your first language if you didn't say so. Only slight language issue I can see is the use of professor, which is generally reserved for university teachers. A better term is instructor, but it's a very minor gripe. Good story. I think it depends on the country, and it also depends on the interchangeable words between English and Spanish. For some reason, this was one of the most fun Karen anecdotes I've ever read. It made me kinda piss cause the dad didn't scold her. Hell you speak English better than most people I have known my whole life. I love swimming also. It's driving me crazy not being able to swim during the pandemic. If I had been in that situation, I would have challenged this lady's expert swimmer to a race. Jajaj. Same. I'm used to swim a lot on vacations and even have a pool party on my birthday, but this thing cancelled it. As an English speaker learning Spanish your English is very impressive. Also find the use, if professor adorable bc like exactly why you're saying professor, but usually for swimming we'd say swimming instructor naturally or maybe a teacher. Yeah. I have been told that about being an instructor. I just didn't knew what word to use. It's cool. In English we only use professor for a high level university person. Out of curiosity, is there a separate word in Spanish for what we would call a professor? Professor can be translated to maestro and professor, which are really similar but professor is used as well in higher level studies. Gracious. Espero que nunca tendas que conocer a Karen otra vez. Ah. Mexican Karen some of them can be violent. You were lucky BTW. Nice story. I don't think your class is overweight, but I'm way below the average. I'm actually 5 eighths kilograms above my best. I'm not that fat, but it can be noticed if I don't have a shirt on, or if the shirt is wet and is directly on my skin. I guess my school is full of fat people then, since I'm 175 centimeters and about 60 kilograms but everyone else 65, 85 kilograms. From a fellow fatty, lean and muscular sinks like a rock. Ever seen a dolphin with six pack abdominals? No. Water is your arena. Swim on. This Karen is capable of contradicting every single statement she makes. She's like how could Op be good at swimming and then later say he is a bad influence for kids his age. Making them think swimming is easy. What an absolute idiot. P. S. Your English is really good for not being your first language. GG. D. Duck. My desires to be in Mexico right now are exploding. Oh no. You really don't want to be in Mexico right now it's a ducking chaos here. Please stay safe at home. Don't come to Tacalandia. I just miss my Takuro. Well. That's a good point. Hi Paisano. Fellow countryman. Feel proud of yourself. Your English is awesome. Unfortunately being a Karen is becoming and fast. A worldwide phenomenon. I'm so sorry that at your short age you already had your first encounter. I hope you're transferring dreams to come to fruition. Swimming it's that hard. I think you spelled all the words correctly. Congrats. Amzig. 
it the people like her who piss me off. You write English quite well. Spelling and grammar both are very good. M of course it's not my son's fault that I haven't given him swim lessons. Oh. Wait. It's not my fault. Either. Your English is great, and it was an entertaining and enjoyable read. I have seen these type of parents so much that I feel like this is normal. How dare you make swimming look easy with your 10 years of practice. Slashes. I'm a life Gordon swim instructor and have experienced more than my fair share of Karens that think their kids are better swimmers than they are. I'm also from Nouveau Lane when I was a child. My parents enrolled me in swimming classes. I think I was 6 or 7 years old. I stopped going to those classes because in an accident I almost drowned. I don't remember exactly. On the UANL. Yes. Love her username. Jesus. That's concerning. Just imagine the Karen having a pool like that for her family and the kid does the same thing he did. Jesus Christ. Karens are getting smarter every day. Ah yes. My kid almost drowned because he saw you swimming and I wasn't responsible enough to educate him properly on the dangers of water. You must be trying to kill him. Swimmer slash lifeguard and swim teacher here. This is pretty fun to read. I have several of cases that similar enough to this. It's pretty epic to think why or how a parent would like to get their child into an advanced class when they know for shit the child can't swim. Me myself have to recuse some of those kids cause they tend to get that influence from the parents that swimming is easy which is not depend on how gifted you are. Some just want to show off. I have a kid, pretty cool kid though, who parent just signed him up to the most advanced class we have. He is not a bad swimmer, but for warm up, we usually do 2 to 4 laps around the pool plus FLIP turns, and that what we usually do to test out the newbies, he was clearly dying. So I stopped and checked up on him. Apparently his mom just got a bit cocky, after he finished the upper beginner class, you swim across the width of the pool, and instead of taking the transition class that we offer, jump to the most advanced. Clearly after a while of going back and forth on how her son almost passed out from just the warm up, she refused to let him go to the transition class. The poor kid just had enough and decided to get out and just locked himself in the bathroom for 5 minutes. His mom backed down and they went home. Sadly that the last time I see him, but I heard from my supervisor that he is doing just fine in the lower class. I hope I will never be on a situation like this. So a little background I currently 14 meters soon 15 have basically have swimmed on my own from when I was 5. So I'm a pretty good swimmer, but I guess living in Finland helps because there is so many lakes here and I have played water polo for 4 years now and we finished second in Finland's D Junior, now C Junior, championship last season and this season we had a strong chance in beating last year's champions, but then covered kinda screwed us over and we would not train for 2 months. But the season will restart soon, and we trained the entire summer vacation as the local swimming hall was open for sports teams. Anyone else confused how this 13 to 14 years old kid almost drowned? Can't most people swim by the time they're 10? IDK tell me if I'm wrong. We were too. If we have known that that kid didn't knew how to swim we would have taken action before. He was on the green class. For people that are new to swimming. So IDK because he had no kicking ability. Makes sense. Probably just a rare scenario then. Maybe also because we are on a state that is manly desert. So no of my cousins don't know how to swim either because there is really no place to swim apart from pools. App. Makes sense. You're a legend. Damn you have an amazing name. R-N-I-M-E-W-A-I-F-U-F-U-C-K-E-R. 15 year old with dreams. IDK how that kid didn't know how to swim in 23 feet. Not saying it's easy, but as a person who was in the same class, green, when I was 10, I was swimming in that super easy. Then again it cold been shocked, cause the pool, where I used to swim, was below 40F. And if you go into it unprepared, can get shock and possibly drown. Hope the kid's okay. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.